Hi fellow key shooter. I had a request on how to animate colors, so I thought that I might do a quick tutorial about it, and here it is. So today I'm going to show how you can create a fading color animation like you see here, and also how you create a more sharp transition uh, color animation like here. So let's uh, dig straight into it. Here in Keyshot I have a, a pair of Ray-Ban glasses from Dimensiva.com and um, let's uh, let's see how you animate the, the color of this. If you open up the animation timeline, clicking this button and go to the animation wizard, you see that there is no option for color animation and you have to go into the material graph for the material that you want to change the color of um, to initiate this color animation. So double click on the material and head into the material graph. And in here we right click, go to the uh, animation, tap here and say color fade. And this node we can drag into the diffuse channel. All right, and you see here in the animation timeline that an, an animation is created. So we can continue working here in the graph or we can close the graph down now and uh, continue working here if you open up the folder and click this one. So I'll just do like this so I make sure that my head isn't in the way. All right, so by default, the color is changing from red to blue. Let's see how that looks. It goes like this, all right? So what you have to do is to uh, add in the colors um, that you need for your product. So let's say we have a red version and we wanna have um, a yellow version as well. So click the plus sign and this new color dot is coming up and you can change the color of it here. So click it and change the color to your liking. Hit OK and um, place it where you want it to be. So right now the total animation is running from zero to one second. So if we want this to be in the dead center, we need it at 0.5 second. So now our product is changing from red to yellow to blue. All right. Let's, um, if you want to adjust the length, you can just um, pick this uh, top folder and drag it to uh, whatever amount of time you need. All right. So if we want this to loop, we would uh, need to add this red color in, in this end as well. So let's shift these over a bit and hit the plus sign to add in another one, drag it to the end, hit the color button and this uh, color picker to uh, pick the exact same color as here. Now we just need to divide these equally so they are showing in the same amount of time. So if we drag this up to three seconds, then we need the yellow one at one second. Whoops, not one, one second, and the blue one at two seconds, like so. And then you can adjust it to whatever length you are looking for, and it will stay, uh, the relationship will stay the same. So that's it for uh, the fading animation. So what if you want to have the uh, transitions a bit more sharp or just have the color stay a bit before fading into another color? To do this, you have to uh, add in a second color pin for each color. So add in another one, hitting the plus sign, hit the color and use the color picker to uh, get the exact same color. So now we have the red color staying on for a short amount of time before fading into the yellow. So let's do the same with the yellow color. Hit the plus sign, hit the color node, hit the color picker and pick the color from here. And then do the same for the blue one. So if you view the animation, you can see that the color stays on for a small amount of time before shifting. If you want the transition to be 
tack sharp like a knife's edge you just have to drag them exactly next to each other these color pins and you can delete this last one so now the transition is completely sharp they change over one frame only but I would say that if, if this is what you need and you don't have any other animation going on at the same time, no camera animation, it's just the glass is sitting there changing the color, then I would recommend just render out three frames, one for each color, and then comb it together in a, in a software like uh, Adobe After Effects, because that will save you a lot of rendering time. Because here, I mean, it's the same frame it renders over and over and over again, and you could just render it one time and then comb it together. So a small tip there. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, thanks for watching and take care.